Hello everybody, welcome to the Indian Captains. My name is Shoaib and this is episode number 4. In the previous videos, we have been discussing how to attain your licenses. One is your private license and your commercial license. If you haven't seen, make sure to click the link here and have a look. Today's video is completely focused on how to attain your CPL in India. And this is a very asked question in our uh, flying days as to how you have started your career as a pilot, what have you done, so on and so forth. So to make it very simple and uh, the steps that you need to take and keeping in mind the current market scenario as well, I have come across three important steps that most pilots have done to first track their procedures in becoming uh, a commercial pilot. The first step is to complete your medicals. Medicals are the most important part of a pilot's career. So you need to be declared medically fit by a DGCA doctor. So first one you will be doing is a class 2 medical. Uh, which will be valid for two years upon being declared fit for class two you will be issued a file number and subsequently you can take a class one medical test uh, both the medical tests are conducted by dgcm panel doctors the list of panel doctors are given in the link below make sure to uh, check the doctor which is available in your city and get your medicals done as soon as you got a green signal with your medicals uh, i would want you to go to the second step which is application of your computer number Computer number is nothing but a registration number for your exams, uh, DGC exams I mean to say. So your DGC exams uh, have uh, a basic requirement uh, or your pilot requirements basically that is 18 years of age and you need to have cleared your 12th grade with physics and maths. As soon as you have these requirements you can apply for your computer number by submitting the verification certificate. DGCA will issue you a computer number which will help you to apply for your exams be it CPL or ATPL so just one time registration. After you have completed this particular um, second step you need to go to the third step and um, you can also do the third step uh, in the background while you're doing your first and second step. So what is this third step? Third step is preparation for your DGC exams. Your DGC exams are uh, somewhere around three subjects to five subjects. And those subjects are air navigation, meteorology, air regulation. We have general specific and general technical. Uh, from out of these five papers, I would suggest you to complete at least three papers, which is navigation, meteorology, and regulation. Why am I saying this? Because if you complete these papers, these papers in India, um, the exams happen once in two to three months. So there is a lot of time uh, spent in completing these papers. And if you have cleared these papers, these papers scores are valid for five years and also these papers are a must whether you're doing your flying in india or in abroad so if you're converting your license you still need to clear these three papers right so this makes it very easy for you to decide where to go for your flight training so if you have completed these three papers you can take a call whether to do your flying in india or abroad which in either cases if you return uh, from your training still doesn't make any difference because you have completed the basic requirements and if at all you have time, also give your RTR license, which is Radio Telephony Restrict Aeronautical License. That will again mean that uh, you would have completed close to 50 to 60 percent of your requirements in becoming a pilot in India. So these are very vital three steps that you should definitely look at if you're looking uh, in becoming a pilot in India. Uh, the first step I'm going to quickly run through it is your medical. Second step is your computer number and your third step is your DGC exams. Uh, I hope this video has made it a little bit simpler for you to take a call in this current scenario of your uh, aviation industry where you are not pretty sure as to, to pursue your career as a pilot. Uh, this will also mean that you are not investing a lot of money in your flight training yet because this uh, medicals and your exams would not cost you much. So I would suggest you get this done and later take a call uh, based on the market scenario and also your personal requirements as to where you need to do your flight training within India or abroad and then get it completed. So I hope this has given you a better scenario and uh, as to how things are going around and what you need to do so that you are uh, saving a lot of time. Most of my friends have ended up saving close to six, to six months to a year by doing this step. So make sure you finish off these steps and I hope that you can achieve your goal of becoming a commercial pilot in India. Uh, if you like our content, please give it a like. It definitely helps us to, you know, keep putting videos often. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you still haven't done it. Please hit the subscribe button right now. And do share the video with your fellow friends who also want to take up uh, the pilot uh, career. Uh, until next time, uh, take care.
गुड बाय